Hi, everybody. It is Sunday, January 24th. We're entering the last week of January. Can you believe it that one month has already gone by? Um, so today, uh, on my Wonderland watch, I'm going to tell you what's going on with my scale. Yesterday, you if you watched my video from yesterday, you saw I was up 0.5, a half a pound. Well, this morning, I was back down 0.5, so I'm back down to what I was on weigh-in day on Friday at 200.7. Now, the interesting thing is, is I ate more calories yesterday than what I had been eating, and my weight came down. So, um, I added a little extra fat yesterday, and my weight was down this morning. So, today, I did the same thing. I added a little bit more fat. I ate a few more calories. I'm going to show you everything that I ate. Um, and the only thing you're not going to see is I did have, after dinner, I had a bowl of popcorn. And the only reason I had it was because I looked at my calorie count and it was just over a thousand calories. And I wanted to up that calorie count just a little bit. And I eat plain popcorn. There's nothing added to it. So 40 grams, no, 41 grams of just the kernels popped is, um, Three or two points. Three points. Three points, but about a hundred calories. A little little more than a hundred calories. So that took me up to a more reasonable calorie count. And um and I'll still have that five hundred calorie deficit by the end of the night that I like to have. But I still, you know, I want to keep that calorie count up closer to twelve hundred calories a day. Uh I'm finding that uh, at the end of the day, I'm really low on calories. And uh, since when I eat more, it seems to burn more. I've been busy today. I've been cleaning, which is why I look like this. I've been cleaning and organizing, going through a bunch of papers and getting rid, rid of the junk. Uh, the lady that lives below me is gone for a week. So I'm glad because I think I'm filling up full of trash cans by myself, just purging stuff out of the house. So... Let me show you what I've had to eat today, and then I'll be back with my inspirational quote of the week. This morning for breakfast, I'm having some pumpkin pie oatmeal. So it's 41 grams of dry oats before I cooked it. I added some um, cooked pumpkin, my home canned pumpkin, in with this. Uh, pumpkin pie spice. The oats are four points. I have 120 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk on there. It's all zero points. My banana is zero points. I have eight grams of slivered almonds on there uh, for one point. So my whole bowl of cereal is uh, five points. It's pumpkin with pumpkin pie spice. Um, it smells so good. And then there's one point in my coffee uh, with my fat-free half and half, 50 milliliters total. So I have a six-point breakfast today. Okay, my lunch today is I'm having a fish salad. This is a uh, wild caught grilled salmon. Um, it's zero points on the blue plan. Everything on here is zero points except for I've got some avocado in here that weighed out at two points. And then I did put some full fat cheese on there. 28 grams of the sh sharp cheddar is four points. So I have a six point lunch. So I just have lettuce, tomato, onions, peppers. Um, and then I topped it with my homemade salsa, which is fat free. Um, so that's zero points. So I have this huge dinner salad for six points. Taking a break from all my cleaning and organizing today to have a zero point snack. 116 grams of frozen grapes. My red pepper is 26 grams. My green pepper is 22 grams. It's all zero points on the blue plan. I'm having a little breakfast for dinner tonight. Uh, just one egg and two egg whites. It's all zero points. I uh, sauteed it with some onions and peppers. Also zero points. My half a grapefruit is zero points. Uh, the only thing on my plate that has points is this avocado. It weighed out as, at three points. So I have a three point dinner today. Okay, well that was it. I mean, I had good food all day, so, and I'm not hungry. Uh, like I said, my calorie count is right where I want it. 
Um, that popcorn took me to 18 points, by the way. So 18 points and just, like I said, just over 1,100 calories. It might be just under 1,200 calories, actually. I'd have to look again. Okay. So my insp inspirational quote for this week is, your only limit is your mind. I don't know who said that. I don't know who to credit for that. It's not mine. I'm not that, that my, I'm not that smart. So uh, your only limit is your mind. When I read this, the thing, it, one thing that came to my mind was a song, I Believe I Can Fly, because I think there's a line in there that says, if you believe it, you can achieve it. Uh, so what are you believing now? Now that January is almost over with, and you've been really back to weight loss mode now for almost a month, are you believing you can do it? It's a hard thing to get your mind wrapped around it. So your only limit is your mind. Your mind is the only thing that's holding you back from doing the things that you want to do. So when January 1st rolled around and I saw how my scale had climbed back up to over 200 pounds, uh, mm, I worked so hard to get down to that 185 and here I am now at 200. So I believe I'm going to get back down to 185 soon and I'm going to go beyond that this time. So when I was at 185, I think I was eight pounds away from that 100-pound mark. So I've said many times, weight loss is a mind game as much as it is anything else. So is your mind limiting you? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I'm going to make this video kind of short tonight. Uh, I still have more stuff to do. Uh, at least you can see my living room now. Yesterday... Everything that I wanted to organize out of my bedroom, I brought into my living room because I knew if it was in my living room, I wouldn't be able to see it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to stand it. So I've been working on it all day long and um, it's almost all done. The only th I have uh, my file box to go through yet. Uh, I'm pitching a lot of papers that I don't need any longer and just getting rid of stuff, lightening the load, so to speak. So and already in my bedroom, I feel a lot better because the clutter is gone. And um, so I think this year is just a year for me to purge a lot of stuff. I still have uh, a big tub of Aaron and Joe's clothes that I just haven't been ready or willing to part with. I'm getting close. I think I'm going to be able to start unloading some of that stuff and maybe donating them and letting people that can use them have them. So... Uh, but it's a good feeling to start lightening things up here a little bit and, and getting rid of things that I no longer need. Um, so anyway, remember your only limit is your mind. <laughs> I have to remember that too every day. I have to remember that the only limit I have in achieving my weight loss goal is this right here. Right now I'm believing I can do it. I'm believing I can do it. I'm believing I can see it. I have a vision of what it would be like to be down at my goal weight. And part of the reason I'm getting that vision, I've been going through a lot of old pictures and I've seen seen pictures of myself. Of course, I'm many years younger, but, you know, at the weight I want to be at again. And I think I can get down there. So, all right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I'll be back on Monday. We're supposed to get some bad weather tomorrow, but I'll be back and showing you what I'm eating on the Blue Plan. You guys have a great night. See you tomorrow.